there. Welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limco. I'm very happy to have all of you with me. This is a different kind of video than I've done. I haven't done one quite like this. I have done a couple, I guess. If I look back. We're gonna build a song from scratch. We're gonna use Mega Macho Drums, and we're gonna use Mega Magic Dreams in different formats with the different plugins. So I can show you some tricks with different plugins, how to use it, different different ways of using it. I'm going to use this in a non-traditional way. It's not going to be one of these, you know, ballad because the sounds are so ambient and they, they lend themselves to the chill and all that stuff, like that. But I want to do something different. I want to do some kind of kitschy and drummy and groove and funky and I don't know what. It, this is not preconceived. I have no chord ideas. There's no sounds coming from the keyboard. I only have one channel in Logic Pro. Now, a couple things. First of all, let's get the promotion that you guys love so much, but I need to do this. This is paying, this is kind of like paying the bills. Please come to my website, pluginguru.com. Mega Magic Dreams is the new library, and uh, there it is. There's a lot of products in the list. Make sure you check them all out if you need different things for different plugins. There's a lot of them that I support now. It's pretty cool. I'm on Twitter. Whatever I say on my Facebook page ends up on the Twitter feed. So it starts on the Facebook page. The uh, Facebook slash Plugin Guru is where it all starts. Um, the Plugin Guru, the Plugin Guru for the YouTube channel, there's 89 videos now. So have fun. <laughs> and there's over 17,000 of you now that have subscribed. That's crazy. Awesome. 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 Love it. Um, SoundCloud.com slash Plugin Guru. That's where all the demos for all of the different libraries. For everything you can hear, there's even weird stuff I've put up here for Christmas and, you know, Funky Drummer Dude and there's remixes and all, a whole bunch of fun stuff here. So come here and check out the tracks. This will give you an idea of what you can do with the libraries. All right. So there you go. Promotion time over. Um, I'm going to build a song and at the end of this video, there will be a link to download this logic file that I'm going to make. So whatever we end up with, wherever we stop, I don't think we'll get totally done. But the music you're hearing at the beginning right now in the background is this track that we're going to write. The Magic of Computer Editing. Let me tell you, it's pretty cool. So that track is going to be in some form. It probably won't be finalized, but it will be in some form or shape, I'm hoping. We'll find out. So the first thing we need to do, um, I'm going to do some audio bouncing manipulation things in Logic. So I first want to go up here to my audio track and just hit the plus button so it gives me... ooh. Lovely. Four more audio tracks to play with. And then I'm going to use this button to say I want to switch to software instruments and I want there to be 12 software instruments created because I have no idea how many I'm going to need. I don't know what I'm going to do. Nothing up my sleeves. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. We first need, of course, a complete five. At the top for keyboards, I kind of do it this way. I, I have this for keyboards and then I'll go down here. And I kind of have my drums at the very bottom. So I have at least some sort of an organizational knowing where to go track-wise to find things. So here I'm going to scroll down. And I'm not going to use a regular drum kit. I'm going to use, I think I wanted to use Psycho. This is really fun. I was jamming with this earlier. I love this kit. These sounds, a lot of these came from a... Audio manipulation, some crazy time stretching. You, you stretch thing to be like five seconds and then back short, long, short. And by doing that, you get all this breakdown of the sound. So I want something like that. So let's slow down because it's one, not 120 for this and it's not 15. Uh, let's say like 95 or 100. Okay, 100. Funky. We won't be funky today. So we're going to go over here to Logic and tell it to be a swinging kind of thing. So a 16th like C. Oh, more swing. D or E. There we go. It needs to be E. Gun, 
Now, I'm gonna go over here because some human feel is really nice to have in a track. So while it's playing, I'm gonna bring down the quantized strength. This is under the more, it's, it's hidden. I don't know why they hide it because it's so important, but. Like 80. It's kind of cool if you open up command seven, you see these numbers change as you bring down these numbers. See, that makes it a little late. I want a little bit lateness to it. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back to the contact. Let's do this too. Those sounds are all kind of big and ringy right now. I have this set to global. Do that and then put a little ambience on it. Just to fill it out a little bit. I want all to be a little bit snappier, so a little EQ. Oh! But that last ringing hi hat, I don't want it to be cut. So watch this. This is where it's great. Go to drum and then go to this open hi hat and change it. I'm going to make it softer and up in pitch. And I want delay on it. And I'm looking at my timing value right here. There. So that way that will ring a little bit. And let's put more feedback on it so it really rings. No. This is the power of Mega Magic Drums, is that you have control over all these 61 samples. Cool. For some reason, my kick. I think if I go over here and take a look, the very first kick, it, uh, it's not even there. Okay, so that's one of the wonderful things with Logic is they will sometimes cut things out and make them go away. So let's go P for piano roll. Option drag. Oh, that's what it is. So we go like this. And then go Command-7 so we can see that event. And double-click and say 1.1.1.1. One, 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 one. There. Oh. That'll help with the timing. I want the timing on that hi-hat to be different. It needs to be triplet type of thing. So let's go time. There we go, three. Let's find out by just playing from here. Just do that. Damp it down. Oh, this will be fun. Let's have glitch on it. Let's have just be to quarter notes or eighth notes. And have it be five repeats. Let's bring up our amp and filter all the way. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try that just for fun. We'll move on. Just a minute. That's cool. I want less repeats, so let's just say. Yeah. And it only needs to be one repeat for that boom. So come back here. Oh, so I'm uh, 12. Uh, repeats only. One. 
Let's save this just in case something goes bad. Uh, this is going to be to the desktop for now. And let's call this um, Funky Magic. How's that? Sounds like a name. Okay, so let's go to Contact 5. Now, I showed earlier the quick, and I set up this in a previous video, so I can just go here. I don't have to go over to Files and go navigating to find what I want. And I could have multiple libraries here. I only have this one right now. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's hit with this first. No synth. I want the first hit to be a synth. Or strings. That'd be cool. Strings. Yeah. And let's make it short. I've had a lot of requests from people asking how to get rid of the reverb in the samples. And for the most part, you're not supposed to want to do that. But you can diminish it by using envelopes. If you have a fast decay to a lower sustain, then you'll end up... You hold down, you might have the sustain continue, but it's not full. That's full reverb, but I can I can make marcato type of things. So I want something. I'm gonna go down to zero, so I'm gonna go faster. So this is going to be the first hit. I'm going to do this kind of... I'm going to put a pitchy G. Let's have it get dark by filter too. So it's... Everything's kind of like making a... It's a very popular sound in today's music. Cool. So I've taken the big strings with their long reverb and just like that turned it into a that's cool now there's a little reverb on it so let's take that off and take the delay off so we'll add that later if we want so just jump for a minute So at this point, I want really weird big chords for each each hit. So I'm gonna. Let's just hit that for the first one. I used a Japanese pop chord. <laughs> oh no. All oh, those augmented chords. Everybody in Japan loves that. <laughs> I'm not, not in a bad way. Good. Okay, I hear something I want to do real quick. So let's move this out of the way. Go to the editor. And I want to take this chord. Short, shorten it to half length, about right there. Option, click. Descending my harmony. There we 
There it is. There it is. That's what was missing. Okay. Fun. All right. So that's different, isn't it? Now. Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use a separate track. Another contact five for this first sound. And let's say boom. That's nice and bright and kind of anthemic. Let's change it. Turn off the reverb. And instead of being a filter sweep down, I want to go up. So I'm going to... And instead of controlling the, the decay to, a, to sustain like we did in the first one, we're going to do the opposite. You just bring up the attack. All it's for, it's just that one hit. Ready? So here we go. Right, not, not the right place. Dude. Let's see how our timing is on that. It's a big crazy chord. Okay, I'm going to move it earlier in time. Hold down control and shift at the same time so I can get a little bit finer resolution. Cool. Now for number three, I'm going to call up Iris. Because Iris can do different things than these other guys. And the fact that it's got this cool window for audio manipulation. Mm -hmm. Wow. So let's go over here. Could use a guitar sound. We want a nice, light, lots of bright harmonic stuff. Nah, we're gonna use that in a minute. Okay, so let's go turn that off, close. Go to the paintbrush. I'm going to start here and sweep. <laughs> okay, we need to do that faster. So, let's see, how can we... Let's see, let's say clear that. Wait, clear like that. Use our brush to be smaller. There we go. And I think it's faster, so we're... And eraser to erase this part so it's just really thin. Now let me see. I think there's a playback. How can I speed that up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe you can't. Well, let's do this. Let's make this stuff go away. Make the master go away. So I have the whole screen to work with so I can make it faster just visually here. So yes, I'm chewing on my glasses. Oh, gotta go to the paintbrush. We're gonna end up here. Yeah, that's really short, man.
That's interesting. So let's get to our track and see how weird this sounds in it. If I get out fast enough, that means getting back to the master and to the modulation. Let's find where our envelopes are. Envelope five. And you can control curvature, so let's have it. Let's put a delay on that. So this is the chorus, the, the delay is right here. And we want it to be quarter notes. How about eighth notes here? We have some high cut we can turn on. Okay, let's see how that works. Get back to the track. So I have a little more. Should we sweep it up? Let's have a go sweep up. See what that sounds like. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I could undo it, but. Got to move it sooner. All right, let's try it. Let's just record this. Maybe move it up and. Oh. I can't take this message right now. Uh, move it up an octave. So go transpose plus 12. And let's quantize just so the timing is. That's cool. Might not be the right notes, but. Is it an F minor? Yeah, it's F, so. Record it is. <laughs> Let's just play it again. We want this to stop right on the money. At least really short so it will stop on the money. Oh, you didn't see that move. I was moving the release of envelope five so that it's. I take my hand off, it stops. I don't like how plugins take over the interface. All right. Uh, what do we want to do next? We need to be build just a whole bunch of audio files now. So this is how you do this type of stuff. Um, we need, let's say the EXS version. Uh, let's go synth. Oh wait, we want to go Omega Magic Dreams.
That would be cool to have for this little blip. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. I'm having a good time. And I'm showing you the library in different ways. And that was kind of my goal. So. <laughs> now I'll show you a cool trick in Logic that you might not have known about. Over here, customize, turn on capture recordings. And by doing that, it turns on this little button right here. Because one cool thing with Logic Pro, by the way, this is, if you own a Mac, it's the best $300 you can spend for any application on the planet because of all of the software instruments that it gives you, the massive sample libraries it gives you, and the abilities it has. It's just the, the, the ability to real time change the strength of quantize while it's playing. Um, a lot of things can do that now, but back in the day when this first came out, it was the only one that could do it. And it really, really blew me away. But one of the things that's really cool that I don't know if a lot of other sequencers have down yet, maybe they do, I, I haven't looked lately, is capture recording. It's always recording what you play, whether recording is on or off. So I just hit this button, and there it is. It, it had captured it. So let's listen to it real quick. Yeah. Now, so I have this line, right? And we're going to bounce this down. Bounce in place. And we're going to call this uh, Planetarium. That's fine. We'll have it go to a new track. Source will mute. So there it goes, bouncing. So we have audio of that. Now I'm gonna mute the audio and I'm gonna go back and unmute Planetarium and I'm gonna find another sound. That'd be cool. You were really cool on it too, so. So let's bounce that. I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing, really. I'm just bouncing this in place. This is the uh, analog. Let's call it blip. That's not its real name, but uh, new track is fine. So it bounces that down. So now I have two audio tracks to play with. Let's mute that. Um, let's unmute Planetarium, and let's do it with one more sound. Let's do it with a... Um, Yeah, let's do it with a um, bow type thing. Not quite right. And I'm shaping it so that the envelope sounds like just a nice normal reverb when you want it. So it's kind of. 
So playing with the envelopes of the amp, you can get all sorts of cool shapes out of these sounds. So the, the clay is this great big thing with all this reverb, but you can take just a little front slice if you want to play with it that way. Um, I'm just going to bounce that. So let's bounce in place. And this is Rough Bell. Okay, there's a lot of ways to do this next step. I'm going to do this. I want to take these three tracks that I've created, control click on it, and down here under folder, it says pack a take folder. And by doing that, it's made this folder where I can now click and drag pieces from all these different takes to make this really cool composite quickly and easily from lots of different things. Boom, 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 boom. So let's try that. Oh, I forgot to have some go over this part. That's the rough bell. Let's have it started, and then we'll have analog blip. And we might want to zoom in a little bit so we can get a little bit more surgical with our editing. Ding, ding. So let's have um, the synth part. Play it first. Oh, shoot. Undo, undo. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And then the big bell up there can hit that. Okay. There. So it's mixing between the three tracks. Okay. Uh, let's put a delay on it just for fun. Uh, stereo delay or echo. Just simple echo might be kind of cool. Okay, that's cool. I think we might want to have something regular playing along the whole time. So let's go to this. Go 
for bass. Okay, now let's get this to be usable in a dance track, because right now it's... Right? It's not really going to work with what we're doing, so... Uh, make sure no reverb here. Here's your envelope. So envelope one is the volume. And is envelope two. It is being assigned to the filter. You can see there's a one right here. That means it's being used somewhere. And if you hover over this, it will tell you filter cutoff. So bring this down. Filter. So that's a lot shorter. Now the fun thing with Serum is it's a synthesizer. So I'm going to take and layer. Mod one. So we got a little bit of extra funkiness available because it is a synthesizer. It's not just playing a sample. That's happening from noise. But the synthesizer section, A and B, and the sub -offs are available. So we could even say A. Unison. That's cool. <laughs> this is fun, man. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys like Funky. If you don't like Funky, you're going to be turning it off a long time ago. But uh, anyway. If nothing else, you see how you can use a library. It's not just for one thing, and it's new sounds. These are new sounds. So very exciting. Having a good time. All right, let's, let's record this. I'm going to do it this way because I don't know when... The bass line that I hit is going to be like, oh my gosh, that was perfect, is going to happen. So these guys here are the stings, so they need to repeat just once every four measures. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do it one more time. So we have our comp, little melody thing. We've got the planetarium melody that's copying this comp, which is those different parts combined together like that, right? Then we have the sting of this, and then we have the strings up here. So... And then down here is Mega Mantra Drums. And we have all these blank tracks we could add, all sorts of crazy cool stuff too if we wanted to, but probably won't get to that, but that's okay. Let's get rid of these spare audio tracks that we don't need anymore. I kind of want this to fall a little bit. So we got sub. Let's go to velocity and turn this down. I'm going to bring this envelope up. I'm going to slow it down just. I want to color it with resonance. There we go. So I want it to like kind of have its own space. to go old school a little attack let's try that
this was repeating at five measures, so I needed to shorten that to four measures. That means this is repeating at five measures. So now everybody's repeating at the right time. All right, let's do it. Now, again, I'm using capture to capture this after I've played for a while. I like that because, I don't know about you, but whenever the record light is on, I kind of think different. I Sometimes I just, you know, it's like when you're in front of a camera or something, right? With it off and the ability to capture it at any time, I don't have to worry because whatever I do, I can capture it back. You know, how I've worked writing music with people so many times and I play something and I'm, I'm I love to play stuff and then forget what I played. It's just how I am. It's flowing through me. Everything that I do work-wise flows through me and then I've forgotten it. It's, it's hopefully saved somewhere. Um, so this capture allows me to save that stuff because I don't, you know, some people can play something and you go, oh, wait, wait, play it again. And they can nail exactly what they played. I can't. So capture has for 20 years been one of my things why I can never use anything but logic because with this, I can always capture what I recorded without recording it. So I don't have to think like I'm recording. So here we go. Let's go through one time. Capture. There it is. Quantize. It seems a little loud. I was a little carried away, I think, when I was. See, I don't want any automation. So. So you get the idea of what we can do. I'm actually going to just let it stay like that. And you can play with the whole baseline if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna upload this and put a link at the end of the video so that you can download this file. Um, just be aware, you're gonna need to own, if I hit X, that will pop up the mixer over here. You'll need to own both the Contact 5 version and the Wave version of Mega Magic Dreams, which is the, the combo, the bundle. You can buy the bundle right now. You can get the bundle and you get both. You also need to own Mega Macho Drums for Contact 5. So without those two version three, there's, I guess, technically three libraries, but the bundle and Contact 5 version of Mega Macho Drums, this won't play. Um, but you can still have the sequence data to play with if you so desire to work with with whatever version. You could recreate this stuff with it, pretty much, well, except for Planetarium, the that serum or the, oh, you also need to own the serum and you'll need to own iris <laughs> so sorry um yeah you'll need to own a few different plugins i'll make the list at the end of requirements so you know what's going on um and there's a little bit more tweaking i would do to this probably i want that kick drum for example um i want a little bit more low end snap into that I take down the reverb on it. And that's 
driving me nuts, so I gotta fix it. So we'll go right to the piano part. I wanna go right here. Now, a couple of cool tools in Logic, uh, control and option that you zoom in. I want this to not be uh, like that. I want it to be like right there. And right there, there can be a skip. So boom. Just for fun. <laughs> this is all about fun, right? We're having a good time. Uh, that last. Boom, boom, uh, where's my zoom in? The, the cool thing with making macho drums is all the samples. I know that sound. I have a version of that in some Korg workstations. I can't remember which one, but. Let's have a pitchy G on it. there that would be a little bit slower and louder and maybe with delays we'll see this And right here, a cool thing with Logic also is you can go to these and say, no, those are supposed to be 24th notes. So go down here, 24th notes.
So fun stuff. The library is flexible and can be used with the different plugins in different ways. And so just kind of pick and choose what you want. It's really fun to, uh, I got rid of the Iris version, but that painting stuff is just really cool. Very unique. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I've had a good time being funky because I love, I love funk, you know. I could have been born in Minneapolis. Anyway, thank you for all of you guys. I've gotten some wonderfully nice emails. Um, I appreciate very much the words you guys are saying. Thank you. And I hope this helps you. And if you like more of these types of videos, let me know. I can provide because we could go back to old libraries and look at cool ways of taking patches and using them in different ways. There's all sorts of possibilities with music and with computers and these synthesizer plugins. There's so much flexibility, it's, it's almost overwhelming. So if I can shed some flashlights into certain directions to help you out, that's great. All right, see you later. Take care. Bye. See ya.